Let it be a ten. Fast lane. Let it be a ten. Watch this. The video you are about to see was unplanned and shot in 15 minutes on a zero dollar budget. That's what I'm talking about. This is Bobby Smurder. No sense. That's what's happening now, man. Like now, you can make a song for free with free apps on your phone. Uh, if you got a phone, you can shoot videos on it. Uh, all you need is a phone to really start posting stuff on the internet. So that's cool, man. This video about to show how Bobby Smurda came out on a zero dollar budget and shot the video in 15 minutes unplanned. Let's get it. Let it be a ten. Fast lane. Let it be a ten. Better get it in. Yeah, yeah. Better drive Ben. Better have friends. Yeah, yeah. Better ride it in. Better ride with him. <laughs> Bet I'm sliding it, niggas signing it, signing it, niggas hiding it, choppers flying it. Yeah, yeah. Ain't got time for them, if they ain't got time for bet. Nigga on five or ten, put five or ten, put three and wild and then. nigga ain't got no sense who bought it, him who rich and pop and shit. They ain't got no sense who bought it, who, who shot at him. What'd he say? Ten, put five or ten, put three and wild and then. nigga ain't got no sense who bought it, him who rich and pop and shit. Nigga ain't got no sense who bought it, him who's rich and pop and shit. Who really driving shit? Who really driving shit? This shit going off, yo. He got the Lambo right there. Um, so he had the Lambo unplanned. That's what's up. He didn't get the Lambo for the video. He must have just had it. That's what's up. Maybe he going out. He look. He look. He look clean. You know what I'm saying? Look like he about to go out. Maybe he. Maybe he about to go to the club. He decided to shoot the music video on the way. That's fire. That's how it should be turning out sometimes. Yeah, ain't got time for them, if they ain't got time for bet. They goin' five or ten, put five or ten, put three and wild and then nigga ain't got no sense who buy it. That's how it is in New York, yo. When you plan to go out in New York, unless you like, you know what I'm saying? I guess like like you in the hood, you know what I'm saying? I ain't grow up in New York. I'm not from there. But I would imagine like people who 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 grew who grew up there, who live there, they probably, you know what I'm saying, they might be able to like late night slide to their friend's crib, you know what I'm saying? You know, however many blocks it is, go wherever they want. But once you start going out to like clubs and you start going to Manhattan and, and doing stuff like that, I feel like you really got to like be out in the daytime. Like you can't really like I've had nice. I definitely had nice where I just because I don't, I don't I'm not a big planner. So I'll go out just whenever I feel like it. And then you with people, everybody getting dressed. You might have went out before, like to the mall or something like that or like to a show, an event. So now people tired and everybody want to go out still. So people be moving late. And, you know, New York be having traffic. So sometimes you got to get up early or you going or you just take the uh, metro or the uh, the subway. You know what I'm saying? You take the subway and, you know, you might be able to move a little bit quicker than driving. But, you know, depending on where you at. But, um. Even if you're going downtown, even the uh, subway will take you some time. So, for a nigga to be, like, dressed up in the daytime with the Lambo, planning to go out, like, that's how you're supposed to do it for real. That's how you know you got time to do everything you want. Get to enjoy your whole day and whatnot. Look at, the, look at the guy dancing with him. He look like he probably dude in the background. He he probably the car dealer. You know what I mean? He probably pulled the car off the lot. Test drive. Look at him. Look at him. Digging right there. Is that his face? He got his face on his shirt. Pop the Glock like he ain't got no pen. I've been sliding in, jumping out on niggas, find ten new wives. This he said, pop the he said, pop the Glock like it ain't got no pen. Doesn't man like when shit. He talking about the pen that that sets the round off. Cause you popping the Glock like it ain't got no pen, you gonna be slamming the trigger trying to figure out why it's not going off. But if he popping it like that, that means he just dumping that shit. He dumping it on you. Bop, bop. Nigga, who ride is this? Nigga, who slide is this? Bop, bop. 
Yeah, we gon' die for this. Niggas won't find a kid. I'm high out up in tip all types of shit. My ass can't fight my bitch. We jump no just G fives all types of shit. And a nigga don't like no shit. Don't give a fuck about who don't like this shit. Nigga, I'm on tight and shit. I'm coming through. I'm striking lightning shit. Nigga, I'ma fly this bitch. Head off before she even try some shit. Try to snitch. Try to catch his lick. Like I ain't out the prison. Nigga ain't got no sense. And now, like Bobby Smurda's shorts, you know what I'm saying? Like now we're in a time where um, niggas is wearing their shorts smaller, almost like how you see like NBA players in what, like the 70s or something like that. Yeah, boom, like in the 70s. Like these guys right here. That's how they wearing their shorts. You know, for a long time, we haven't worn shorts. We meaning men. Men ain't wear shorts like that for a long time. Women wear shorts like that. Maybe kids, women and kids. That's it. But, um... We loop in the back, man. You see a lot of trends and a lot of fashion will loop um, back on itself. You know, when I was younger, it was all about baggy clothes. We, you know what I'm saying? We look like clowns for real, for real. I mean, it's like, that's like, this is more modern clothes. Uh I think about like Dipset, how Dipset. So that's Cam. That's Cam and um Jim Jones right there. Early two thousands. That's how we used to that's how baggy our clothes used to be. So that's a big that's a big turnaround, yo. That's a big turnaround, you know what I'm saying? And um all like all in all, I don't really think it's whack, especially especially like now. There's a lot of like gay fashion. So, you know, um, you know, over like in comparison to like uh, bell bottoms and dresses and whatnot, I don't think it's that bad. Um, I had some swim trunks that that feel like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I got, I got, I got like shorts. I got like shorts that like are above my knee, but they not, they not up as high as that. Um, I had some swim trunks. That feel like that, cause them shits feel like them shits look like they feel like boxers for real. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas gonna start wearing briefs instead of boxer briefs if they if we keep going in this direction with fashion. Niggas gonna have to wear briefs so that your boxers don't fucking hang out of your shorts. You know. So, but yeah, I had I had some swim trunks that fit like that. You know, swim trunks you don't wear boxers under swim trunks. So, um. I I I got I felt comfortable because I used to wear I used to wear I got some um some some long swim trunks as well. Actually, the ones I have now are long, but the ones I had before that were like short like that. And I had bought them I had bought them because um you know less fabric less fabric when I when I do my swim workouts and whatnot. And I started getting comfortable I started getting comfortable in it, but um. You know, not enough to like really wear it out. Like at that time, that was like that was like five years ago, I guess. At that time, um, it wasn't really cool to like wear it out and walk around in them shits. I just swamped. I just used to swim in it, and that's it. So I don't know. I don't really see myself buying shorts like that. Like, I, like I, I, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think I wouldn't do it. But um, I think it, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. I haven't really I haven't really thought about it. I I'll have to see I'll have to see the shorts first. But all in all, I mean I think his outfit his outfit look cool. You know what I'm saying? That's his full outfit right there. He got the uh what's that BCR? I don't know what that stands for. B C six or something like that. B six six. I don't know what it says on his on his shirt, on his sweater. But you know, he got the wind hitting hitting the hitting the legs. And keeping the wind off his arms, you know. So early, early New York evening. 
That song was cool though. 